Once upon a time, there were three little animals called Rag, Tag, and Bobtail. One day, Tag, the little mouse, came slowly along the path. He was carrying a twig. It came from a tree called a hazel tree, and it was rather special. He was just passing Rag's log when Rag, the hedgehog, came out. And Rag said, Hello, Tag. What have you got? It's a hazel twig for finding water. How does it find water? asked Rag. It points down when you get near to some, said Tag. At least I think it does. I've never tried before. Can I try with you? Oh, yes. Come along. So off they went along the path with Tag holding the twig. After a while, Rag wanted to hold it. So Tag let him have it just for a moment. They were so busy changing over that they didn't see what was happening. The twig was pointing down, and that meant that there must be water somewhere near. They couldn't see any water, and they didn't find it until Tag put his paw right into a big sticky mud puddle. His paw was black when it came out. Oh, my goodness me, said Tag. There is some water here. And your twig is pointing down, said Rag. Then it does work. It does, said Tag. Let's go and find some more water. It's your turn to hold the twig, said Rag. So Tag took it. As they went along the path, looking for water, Bobtail came out from behind Rag's log. He sniffed the air. Mmm, it was a lovely warm day and the sun was shining. Ah, said Bobtail, here come the babies. I'm glad they're out in the sun. The babies wanted Bobtail to play with them, but Bobtail wanted to go and eat some clover. You play along the path, he said to the babies. I'll be back soon. And he hopped off while the babies ran round looking for something to do. They played one of their favorite games, hiding behind leaves and peeping through the branches. They found lots of places to hide. They were so busy playing that they didn't see the big black puddle until one of them fell in with a big splash. And he called out, Ooh, ooh, come and play in the puddle. Come and play in the puddle. It's lovely and muddy. And in they all jumped. One, two, three, four. Until all five baby rabbits were as happy as they could be, splashing each other with mud. Suddenly, one of them said, Here comes Bobtail. And so they all hid in the mud for a moment. But Bobtail wasn't looking. All this time, he'd been sniffing about among the different patches of clover. He'd found some that he liked very much. And he went on eating until he couldn't eat any more. And then he thought to himself, Perhaps I'd better see how the babies are getting on. 
and he looked along the path. He thought he saw some baby rabbits all playing together, but they didn't look like his. They're black, he said. Our baby rabbits aren't black. But when Bobtail came closer, he saw what the babies were doing. Oh, my goodness, said Bobtail. We'll never get them clean again. So he went away and sat down at the side of the path because he couldn't think what to do. Usually, when he wanted to think, he ate some clover. But he was so full he couldn't eat another leaf. He was still sitting there, wondering what to do, when Tag and Rag came back along the path with the hazel twig. They were still looking for water. There might be some near the puddle, said Rag. Hello, Bobtail, said Tag. Hello. What's the matter? asked Tag. The babies are playing in a mud puddle, and I don't know how I'll ever get them clean again, said Bobtail. Wash them, said Rag. I can't wash them in a dirty old mud puddle. That's all the water there is, said Bobtail. We are looking for water with this twig, said Tag. There might be some over there, Tag. I thought the twig moved as we came along. Let's go back and see, said Rag. Oh, all right, said Bobtail. It's pointing that way. Well, I don't see any water, said Bobtail. But they went the way the twig was pointing. Tag could feel the twig moving in his paws. It must be somewhere here, he said. And they began to scrabble about. And just then, there, there was the water. It was a spring of water. Near it was an old log that had split in half. And some of the water had spilled into that. And when Bobtail saw the spring, he said, Oh, good! Now we can bath the babies. While Rag, Tag and Bobtail had been finding the clean water, the babies had made the most wonderful mud pie with mud and sticks and stones. You couldn't tell which was mud pie and which was babies. When they saw Bobtail coming, they hopped up to him to show him their dirty paws and their black, sticky faces. They made him come and look at their mud pie. Now that Bobtail knew about the bath, he didn't mind how dirty the babies were. Yes, it's lovely, he said to them. But... You come along now and see the nice bath I've got ready for you. The babies followed him along the path until they came back to the log. As soon as the bath was full, Rag and Tag had stopped the spring bubbling up with a pine cone. And when the babies saw the water, they all wanted to be the first to jump in. It was just as much fun as the mud puddle. Tag began to scrub the babies to get the mud off. They'll be very wet when they come out, said Rag. I'd better get something to dry them. So Rag and Bobtail went off to look for some nice big leaves to use as towels. They couldn't find any straight away, and they looked everywhere. And then 
they remembered where they'd seen just the sort of leaves they wanted, beyond the mud pie. They each took a leaf and went back to the log. The babies were all clean again now, though they were very wet. Tag was a bit wet too. So he and the babies sat down in the sun and Rag and Bobtail began to dry them. Being wet is nice and cool on a hot day, said Tag. Oh, is it? Then I'm going to get wet too, said Rag. And he splashed himself with water from the log. Then he too sat down with the others and they looked at the babies. But one of them wasn't there. Where do you suppose he'd gone? That naughty little baby rabbit had gone back to the mud pie so that he could have the fun of getting muddy and having a bath all over again. Bobtail went to fetch him. But when he picked him up, the naughty baby was so tired, he fell fast asleep in Bobtail's arms. And when Bobtail got back to the others, they were fast asleep too. I won't bother to wash him now, said Bobtail. And in no time at all, Bobtail and the naughty baby were fast asleep too. Goodbye, Bobtail. Goodbye, Rag. Goodbye, Tag. Goodbye, baby rabbits.